welcome back to my channel if you are new thank you so much for tuning in my name is Courtney and this is creative on the cheap where I like to do budget-friendly DIYs and home decor so today's tutorial is coming at you because it has been very highly requested so in my last video I showed you guys my three-tier tray as well as my hot cocoa bar coffee bar hutch thing that I decorated for Valentine's Day there were a lot of DIYs between the two of them a lot of them did not have designated tutorials and there were three projects that I have gotten so many questions about so many comments messages just asking me hey help me can you tell me what to do and I thought you know what I feel like it's warranted so today I'm going to show you how I made the vintage looking kissing booth sign it is super easy really really cute um, today's sign I'm going to go ahead and do a smaller version of it so that way you can kind of see Mine is a little bit bigger version, but today's will be a smaller version. Later in the week, I'm gonna bring you another DIY, and I can't tell you what it is right now. So there is a very valid reason why I cannot tell you at the moment. Um, so please don't hate on me or send me mean comments. Um, it, you will totally understand when you watch that video later in the week, I promise. And then the third DIY were the Dollar Tree gnomes that I turned into Valentine gnomes. Well, I'm not gonna recreate those. I'm sorry, I do not have a need for another set of gnomes, but I do have good news. So in one of my previous videos, I did a quick little talk through showing you guys kind of what I did to make them. I will link that video down below with the timestamp so that you will be able to figure out how I made those gnomes. And if you are new, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any of my future DIYs. And you can find me, in case you didn't know, on Facebook and Instagram for bonus DIYs, bargain shopping finds, behind the scenes, monthly challenges, a little of this, a little of that. And lastly, you can also find me on Twitter at Creative on the. Stop there. There is no cheap attached to that. So there you go. Without further ado, let's get into today's very easy and cute DIY. All right, you're gonna grab your piece of scrap wood. If you don't have wood, you could get a piece of foam board from Dollar Tree or canvas. It's up to you on what you wanna attach your printable to. So I'm gonna measure how wide my board is. Do not worry about the length, just do the width. And the width of my board is 5.4 inches. Now, when I go to put my printable on top of my board, I wanna have a quarter inch allowance around my printable. So that's the 0.25. And I did times two because on each side of the printable, um, the left side and the right side, that's gonna be a quarter of an inch. So what I do is I take 5.4 and subtract the half of an inch and I get 4.9, which is the width that I need to make my printable. And here's my printable. I resized it down. If you measured the width of it, it would be 4.9. Again, that will allow me to have a quarter inch all the way around of um, my printable exposed on the board. I really hope that makes sense. So once I get this trimmed down, it'll be ready to attach. But what I will be doing is taking my board outside to prep it for the printable. And here is the printable all cut out. And then what I'm gonna do now so I can determine the length of my board is I'm just gonna take my printable, put it on top of my board, and then just double check that I get a quarter of an inch all the way around. And then I'll mark the top of the board so I know where to cut it. And that is how I figured out the size of my board. Once that's done, I did take my board out into the garage. I did not film this because I just didn't want to have to deal with sawdust flying everywhere. But I um, cut my board and then I sanded it, focusing on all the edges and just taking off all the sharp corners. And then I stained it with one coat of the dark walnut Minwax stain. So there's my board all sanded and stained. Now I'm going to take some of my matte Mod Podge and I'm going to place a very light coat of the Mod Podge on there and then I'm going to let it kind of dry for, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute to where it gets nice and tacky but almost kind of dry and then I'm going to set my printable down. This kind of helps with not getting bubbles and then I'm gonna let it dry really, really good, and then I will seal it with one coat of the Mod Podge. Again, a super thin layer.
one more time a smaller version of my little kissing booth sign that is sitting on my hot cocoa bar. In case you missed that video and didn't see it, it is eight and a half by 11 and here it is right now sitting on my shelf in my hutch that's in my kitchen. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for some DIY shout outs. Bye.